Going. Welcome to Jamming with JLJ. I'm Janathian. I'm Lucas. I'm Josh. And today we're going to be talking about music or about our favorite artists, albums, or just, yeah, song. So let's get right into it. All right. To start off, I would like to say that my music taste is a bit off, but I mean, I like some artists that you guys like, but I. Don't know you guys that well since I'm new here, so. You're not new here. Let's, let, let's, <laughs> let's start off with what's your favorite song? Well, um, geez. Well, my playlist on Spotify is 36 hours long, and there is every known genre under the sun in that playlist. I would have to say There Was This Girl by Riley Green. That is such a good song. It's my favorite right now. It'll probably change by tomorrow, but. What about you? What about you, Lucas? What you got? Well, um, I am I'm like Josh. And I have a very big playlist, and I don't know if I had like a very big song right now. Like maybe I have like a song now, but maybe it can change. Do you do you have like multiple favorite songs or just like one? No, I have like some of them like are always, but right now I have like some one that are more, but maybe it can change in two weeks. Something like that. I would say my favorite song. Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I do actually have like a favorite picked one. It's called Makima by Seji. It's I don't know what genre it is though, but I am really into indie, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go over to the peanut gallery and ask Finkel what is your favorite zone? I don't have one at the moment. Like I have multiple at the moment. Yeah. But like artists, if we're going by artists right now. Trav a little a little bit of Travis Scott a little bit okay. and a lot of Drake I <laughs> and maybe I that was a answer. little flip some Zach Bryan on there too. Oh. Yeah, Love mm. Old or new Travis Scott? Okay, the new Travis Scott. Mm -mm, it doesn't hit right. You it's like, old. That's, like that's right. Uh, yeah. Utopia new album. Yeah. Mm. There's some decent ones. There's yeah, some good. There's some, there's I feel like ones. every album has. A good Travis few Scott does selections. not have a bad album. No, I mean, well, okay, he doesn't have a all bad songs in one album. Exactly, he I feel like, has one like even like Taylor Swift, she has some good new songs, but not her whole of playlist. It's like, oh my gosh, old she, old Taylor Swift will always be better. Mm -hmm. I a hundred percent agree. Are you guys like album people, or are you just like genuine, just like one song? Because like I don't look at albums. I, I don't either. I really don't either. I look at the album. But, like, only one time. And then I listen to that one song. Yeah, I'm that just, like, I listen to it, and I'm like, oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, I'm an album person. <laughs> <laughs> I like albums because I would rather listen. Like, I'll find, like, four other songs that aren't, like, the most popular that I like better. That's I a mean, good point, though. Like That is a great point. I've done that a few times. <laughs> For an album, I would I would have to, like, go through, like, the whole thing just to find, like, one song instead yeah. of just picking one song. But Isn't at the like same most time, most albums like 15, 10 songs. Yeah, so yeah. you, you kind of have to like go through them all. I have no idea. Zach Bryan's new album, it's pretty it's long. Pr it's a pretty long one, but they're all there's oh, some good bangers. There in are that so one. many good songs. Zach Bryan has zero bangers. Stop. <laughs> zero bangers. Stop. Stop. It's wrong. I beg to differ. Uh, true. They're great. They're catchy. Well, they're catchy. There you go. They're catchy. Like some oh something in the orange. Holy crap! So that's like one it's of a great songs. I like right now. Sun to me, or like Hey Driver. I can hear. I remember Hannah just walking in, the <laughs> <laughs> walking in the lunchroom and singing Hey Driver. <laughs> Cass, what's your favorite song? Uh, my probably like all time favorite song is Better by Khalid. Khalid? Or like any Khalid song. Oh my gosh. I don't know Khalid who that is. is so good. Answer. You don't know Khalid? So Khalid under. has an amazing voice. The one that says, Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Uh, yeah, he's. he's oh. You know, my mom likes that song, so I stopped liking <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, fair. Khalid is very, very smooth with his like words, and his, his voice is just. That, Amazing. that one song with Billie Eilish? Yeah, no, that oh, one was lovely. like, oh, what was it? Billie oh. has like this um, this condition where like she can see and like feel music. Yeah. So that's why like whenever she that makes any sort of song, like you can actually feel the emotion oh pretty well. She has, it's a wild condition. It's rare. She like, she can see and like 
feel the vibrations of music so she can like feel there's somebody else that's very not controversial but is a pretty good artist but has <sighs> like they're almost over oh i was just gonna say Who? olivia rodrigo yes. Olivia Rodrigo. I know that some guys listen to that song just because, like... Oh, yeah. Or, like, not song, artist, sorry. I listen to her. I mean... No shame. No shame in the game. No shame in the game, no. She has really good songs, like Driver's License. That was a bop. I just like the intro. That was so catchy. <laughs> Why do I like the intro? I don't know. Are y'all... She, oh, ahead, sorry. Are y'all into, like... What was it? I had it in my head. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys listen to a lot of, like, popular artists that mm-hmm. I know of, but I don't know of their songs because I don't listen to popular people. I listen you know, to, like, underground. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of underground and, like, unknown artists people don't know about, so it's just, like... I have a question you for you, Janetian. How... how uh, okay, so one, um, you guys definitely don't know who Pink Boy is. No. Yeah, his name is Pink Boy, and there's a song called Flip Flown, and it's really, really good. And then there's also, yeah, Flip Flown by um, Pink Boy. He's kind of like an one artist. And then there's this indie song that I'm obsessed with. It's called A Couple Things by Kate Ballinger. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Is it just me? I don't know if it's me. But like when I listen to music, even if I'm sad, I want an upbeat song just so I can mm-hmm. just bop to it. I don't know. I never I never. You're like talking about getting anymore. in your feels, but like I don't I don't listen to songs to get in my feels. I listen to songs to get pumped. I used to for the feels, but now it's just for fun. Like Speaking of getting pumped, this is going to sound really stupid, but me and Brock, last year for football, we would play, what's that Nicki Minaj song? There's so many Nicki Minaj uh, songs. No, it's, the, it's the new, the, the F-R. Oh, oh freak, super, super freaky, freaky girl. Freaky yeah. girl. We would play that before every Why football game. Why do I, s- no, because Brock I always sang that song. It It just gave it like, I don't know why. Like, like you just you get your head bopping and you're just getting into it. It gets you pumped. I don't know why. I have a question. I still what is your favorite white girl song? Party in the USA. No other answer. If you have another answer, you're wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, I have no. <laughs> so sorry. Nathan's <laughs> really thinking about it. All right. No. All right. I, no. This is. I'm trying to find like a really good one. Says, but singing in the shower, that one, that's oh. pretty good. <gasps> I love that. I just oh. thought, oh, a, thou- a thousand answer. miles, <laughs> a thousand miles. Do you guys oh, know that one? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I miss you. Oh, these are like that one was so good. I completely forgot about that one. What's what are some like Spaniard songs you listen to? Despacito, Justin Bieber version. Well, like. Uh, Spanish music, like, it's changing now because, like, many years ago was, like, more rock style. And now, <laughs> yeah, and now it's uh, more, like, um, Latin music. So, like, whole artists are making Latin music. and But it's very good. It's very good. Talk I, I will show you some one day. Yeah. Do you like the artists here? Yeah. yeah. Like, in the U.S.? Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Like I listened before I came here, like well, like uh, I like my father, like I was listening always in my childhood to uh, Metallica, uh, Rise Against the Machine. Well, Talk. news that is not from here is from Wales. Yeah. Um, Nirvana, that's all kind of stuff. Yeah, Nirvana is pretty good. Yeah, Th- that's a yeah Nirvana. I don't know, it's a funny song. And then <laughs> like my friends show me uh, Kendrick, uh, Tyler the Creator. Tyler's Tyler the Creator is so funny. That is Caleb's favorite artist. So funny. I got you. He kills. He's so foul though. He says some foul stuff, but (laughs) he's funny. He's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the music from here. I. Oh, who is it? Do you know? uh, Do you you guys know who Yacht Club is? No. None of you know who Yacht Club is. He is so good. What's it called? Yeah. 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 His name is Yacht Club. He's a single artist, but. it's, it's actually pretty surprising. He's like an on. He's he's completely on his own. Like typically, when you're a singer, you have like managers and all that. Yeah. Yeah, but not he's producers. Yeah, he he's just his own producer. He just makes his own music like completely on his own. Kaylin wants me to ask you, what do you think about Rihanna? Rihanna, <laughs> she has good songs. What about like Katy Perry? She has a couple good songs, but like almost every one of her songs well, she, she was, released was she was all right for like a couple years, and then I she was know, really she good back in like twenty. 15, 2016. And then yeah. after that, it was just me. 
How do how do we feel about Doja Cat? Doja, Doja Cat? No, nope. she's not. No, no. Uh, well, she nah. was good. Give well, the mic to was. Jordan. What was the Give song? Give the mic to Jordan. She's right behind you. Jordan. Jordan hates Doja Cat. I like these. She just it. hates it because she talks oh, about like the like. She okay. does. Yeah. Like her paint the town red. Yeah. <laughs> it's talking about like. It's drugs. a terrible song. Bad song. I, they, it's they not good. One. I don't like it. Yeah, the new I one. I like. I like it. It's I, it's kind of like catchy, it. but it's like. Catchy. I just can't get in with that. The like, lyrics freak me out, but when it's you a catchy actually song. listen to the lyrics, you're like, whoa. It's, yeah. Take a step back here. And if you watch the music video, it has like her talking about like devils and doing. She had good songs back in like 2019, 2020. And then it's just. Now it's just bad. Like she fell off so hard. Sam Smith. Smith Oh my gosh. Sam Smith. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was he the one who made. um, uh, Did he also make like Impossible? Or is that somebody else? That's. Isn't that like James Arthur? James Unholy James. used to be Sydney Olsen's favorite song until she figured out the meaning <laughs> of it. <laughs> that was her pump up song to basketball last year. What? I mean, it's kind of catchy, but like, I'd say the first half of it is song. decent, and then yeah. the rest of it sucks. <laughs> Sam Smith was really good when he. Um, oh, what song is it? Oh, like, stay with me. Or that one's pretty good. I'm t- stay with me is not bad. Uh, it might have been Stay With Me. I don't even know. There's so many popular Stay artists now that have Yeah, that's off. what it is. Yeah, Stay With Me. That one was really good. I used to bop to that all the time. Great yeah. song. Like, I'm, I'm not the only one good. that thinks this, right? Like, So all the popular like artists are low-key kind of falling off right now. They are. Low-key? Like low-key they they're, they're trying to appeal to... They're just getting like older. They're trying as time too hard. On, they're so trying to... Yeah, exactly. They're trying yeah, it's too like, hard. Yeah, they're getting... Older, so they're like, oh my god, I'm yeah, not in touch I mean, with these kids. They also gotta... like made so many other songs, so they're oh, like yeah. probably running out of ideas for music. I would probably say Doja Kanye. Kanye's an example of that. Kanye West. Kanye is Kanye. an example. Gosh, I miss old Kanye. He you know what? <laughs> Kanye is Kanye is insane. Yeah, he, he thinks is. he's Jesus, bro. He's so <laughs> odd. Well, he, was <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was, he was so Jesus. good. Like. He basically, was like. Back in his prime, I don't even know when it was. He was just runaway. That's oh. for me. It's the perfect song. That's perfect song. I learned that on piano, and I haven't stopped playing it like ever since. Okay, I Martin Welch. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys, we got to wrap this up. We had a great time talking. I had, I definitely had a great time talking. I also had a great time talking. I also yeah, enjoyed this a lot. Yeah. So you guys have a wonderful day. This is the JLJ podcast. Come jam with us next time. Yeah, we'll head out. We'll be back. See you soon.